it's really hard to imagine what, uh, what happened here. Uh, young people came to a, to a festival, to a party, to, to sing and dance and, and celebrate. And there are all of a sudden shootings and bombs and, and explosions. And they are trying to escape from there to the main road that is just here. And, they get stuck in this terrible thing and cannot get out because it's all jammed. It's, uh, it's just unbelievable. But the question that I'm asking myself right now is what can we do in the long term to, to help rebuild something that is more sustainable in this area? And how can we help with that? Just looking at this blood on the walls on this bathroom and looking at the these knives that were covered with uh, with blood is terrible and it's it's and, and these burnt cars that you know that there were just people there this weekend is 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 unsettling, not unsettling it's, it's horrific and it, it's like the, the first instinct is like who does this thing they need to get punished and then the second thought is like hold on one second but like How do we create a sustainable solution eventually? It's about helping the people who help. It's about strengthening the people who are giving back and who are, who are at all costs trying to do good to other people. I think that that's, that's the way to fight. That's the way that all of us from remotely can help. <laughs> And we hear them all the time, shooting and shooting and shooting. We knew that if they come before I finish, that's the end of us. Neighbors, and then they arrive, they, they shut the ho all the house from the outside. So many bullets, broke everything. And we're still hoping that they will not try to open the safe room's door. But they did. They arrived there and shouting in Arabic. I think, I think about eight men. Because the light is all off, no cell phones, nothing. We lay down. At that point, we were like this. We held each other's hands. And my daughter says to me, um, Mom, I love you. I appreciate so much everything you did for me. גופות בכל מקום, אנשים שרופים לגמרי, שרפו, אנסו, הרגו, לא, אי אפשר לדמיין משהו. אין לי בית, אני פליט עכשיו. לך תדע כמה זמן, שנה, שנתיים, אני לא יודע. We were 400, now we're only 300, so we don't need so many houses. And uh, that's enough. We suffered, really. That's enough. Let us be together, let us stay together. And we devoted our lives to this country and to this, to this beautiful people. But, you know, I, I don't even know where, where we're going to be tomorrow. But what I know is that we have to, to, to tell the story. We have to talk about our loved ones who are gone. We have to work very hard to make people understand that Israel will not break. Now, the house is all the house. And now they have to come in. So, they came into the house, and they don't know how, from where Iran was the power, but they came in the door and opened the door of the Mamad. When they opened the door of the Mamad, he saw that he was shot. He didn't have the power. כי בממד היה לו שרשרת. עם הכוחות האחרונות שהיו לו, הצליח לפתוח את השרשרת של הממד, לשחרר. ואז ערן הגיע, ואיך שהוא הצליח עם הידית, לא יודע איך, הצליח לפתוח, ואז כשהוא נכנס, הוא ראה את איתן ברצפה, אז הוא בא להרים אותו, אמר לו, לא, לא, אל תיקח אותי, אל תיקח אותי, קח את הבנות, ותשתי, תוציא אותם מפה. אז הוא הוציא אותם, 
והוא חזר ולקח אותו גם כן, והוא הציל אותו, הציל אותם. ולאחר מכן הוא הלך לבן השני שלי, שממנו כבר איבדנו קשר. הוא הלך ולא מצא כלום. אמר, אין כלום. והלך לבן הקטן אחרי זה. וגם, לא מצא לא את הבן הקטן שלי ולא את החברה שלו. ועד היום, אנחנו לא יודעים כלום עליהם. הבן הקטן והחברה שלו נחשבים נהדרים. הבן השני עם המנות וגיסתו, שהייתה בביקור עם ילדה קטנה גם כן, חטפו אותם, נחשבים חטופים. וזה מה שיש לנו. זה מה ש... The goal is, will be always to stick together. Everyone will stick together. We will not leave one another. This is your family. The, the survivors is your family. That's what left. There's nothing left. They, did, they took everything from us. They took everything. So as I said, we have four logistics centers to just uh, mobilize equipment. We also we purchase the equipment, but also get donations. Most of the donations Uh, we give to other NGOs because there is a lot of clothes and everything. People don't usually understand what are the needs, so they, like, they, they donate. Uh, but uh, but besides take, that... We take uh, monetary donations as well. Just... Of course, of course. This, is the, this, is, yes. the, this is the most preferred way. Supazmano, the collection of the packages. Get the package, Jenia, raise your hand. Okay, the driver comes. He said, I'm, I'm for Fakim, six to three. Okay, you take the package and you put it in his car. You take the car and you, and you go. There is a circulation of drivers collecting donations and taking packages out to the food. Everything happens from this guy. Everything started. We're going to try to help. We have those two logistic centers that does this. We have one center that is a medical center in Chiba Tel Shomer that supplies all the medical equipment needed in the field. We also have the center that we are going to see at Bet Kama. This is not a logistic center, this is a dispatch center, but one of the most exciting, thrilling, moving centers that I've ever seen. And we have how, how many tasks a day? We run around 2,500 tasks a day. Tasks can be taking people out, evacuating some people. We receive a lot of donations, some of them just from private people. You will see uh, small uh, girls or children bringing them their toys from home. There were 400 teams, a team is four people uh, in two vehicles. 400 teams waiting in line, like, like waiting for a big concert or something. I follow the line of the teams waiting for the first mission of the day, and they are לכבוד הוא לי להיות חלק מהמיזם הזה, אני מאוד שמח שיש פה אלפי אנשים שלוקחים בו חלק. תודה רבה. 70 פלוס. שלושה ילדים, שניים בחו"ל, אחת בארץ, רב סרן דור איו"ש, משרתת, מגויסת משבת בבוקר. תודה רבה. any special equipment we bring them from our logistics center any kind of clothes you saw we have all sizes and everything they fill the form and we get them all they need ברגע שיש אזעקה ציוד לא עליכם עוזבים את הציוד באוטו פורקים מהאוטו כמה שיותר מהר נשכבים על הבטן ומחכים עד שזה נגמר לרוב לא נשמע את האזעקה כי זה מיידי אז להיות מהירים קרה לך כבר? מיליון taking human lives is never a solution for anything It doesn't matter how angry somebody is or for what reason. Uh, that nothing justifies that. And they live peacefully, like this lady that we had to rescue from a town that is next to the border, the soldiers and the people that were came back but then got trapped. שמונים וחמש, אני מקווה. זולה, את ראית פה מה שקרה? 
ראיתי הכל. את המחבלים שעברו עם הטנדרים? הכל. הם ירו? גם הכניסות שלנו נכנסו. הכל ראיתי, הכל שמעתי. הם הגיעו אליך הביתה? בחוץ, אצלי בבית לא, כי יש לנו את רעמי לוי, אז לידינו. כי הם חיסלו שם איזה קבוצה ש... של פנסיונרים שהיו אמורים לנסוע לים המלח בשבת. בצערנו. והרגו אותם? כן, איזה אוטובוס מלא היה. לדעתי איזה תמונות שהתפרסמו בתמונות הראשונות שיצאו בבוקר. זה ביום שבת בבוקר. כן, כן. זה בין הראשונים. אז אמרתי שאני גיבורה ואני נשארת לבד, ובסוף הרגשתי שאני לא מסוגלת. אה, בימים הראשונים הלכת וחזרת. אתמול בערב חזרנו, והיום הם נסעו. הכי טוב לצאת, תעזבי. אבל... מה הידרדר? לאיפה? הוא יותר גרוע ממה שקיים, נשמה. הידרדר, הידרדר. ברגע שניכנס, יהיו יותר טילים, ואתם מאוד קרובים. כן, זה כל הבעיה שלנו, תושבי שדרות. וגם אצלכם אין אזעקה, זה מיד בום נופל. לא, יש לנו אזעקה. כן, בסדר. זה בדיוק שנייה. בדיוק. כן. יש לכם ממש? בטח. כן, כולם, כולם. כן, קיבלנו מתנה. כולם, כל שדרות עם ממ"דים. אם לא, היה פה... מי? אוי ואבוי, וזה היה בהתחלה. עד שסידרו את הממ"דים. It's about helping the people who help. It's about strengthening the people who are giving back and who are, who are at all costs trying to do good to other people. I think that that's, that's the way to fight. That's the way that all of us remotely can help because our supporting them and continuing to do good. I'm asking you to, to help us help them because it's them and everybody else who is here to do good and help people and, and find a better way to create a more sustainable solution here for many, many generations to come.